Good morning. Happy Saturday. I am just finishing up my coffee. Um, this coffee is high octane. I have one mug a day because if I had more than one mug a day, it would probably stop my heart. How's everybody doing? Good, I hope. Um, beautiful Saturday. And, uh, whew, well, I get this lift going. Should be joined by the lovely Dominique. We'll wait and see if she shows up. While I'm waiting, I wanted to wish my oldest sister a very happy birthday. Happy birthday, Michelle. She is uh, turning 25 again. We don't know how she does it. Um, looks beautiful, wonderful lady. She's not on the Facebooks, so she can't even see or hear this, but happy birthday, Michelle, wherever you are. Probably in the garden. She likes gardening. All right, who we got with me? Someone's live. Oh, I need some water. Hey, Dominique, woo! All right, Dominique, don't waste no time. All right, so I've got a lower body workout playlist using an old one. Go listening along. I am going to start three, two, one, right, meow. Dominique, good to see you. Good to see you. We're gonna get this part started. We're gonna do a nice long warm up once I can find it. And I'm lazy, I didn't print out my stuff. All right, we're gonna start some pot stirring. Lean over, swing your arm around slowly, control. Didn't waste any time, now you just jump it right in. I know you wanna get on with your day. Switch directions. Gonna do a eight move warm up, I don't know. There's enough moves. Get you warmed up. Gonna switch sides in two, one, switch out your arm. So if you were watching P9X and Tony Horton doing this right now, he would ask you to name your soup or what you're stirring. If you move it slower, it's like you're stirring cookie batter. Um, switch directions. Uh, and I think someone said like lobster bisque, which is delightful. And then he like immediately says, ah, that's not healthy. He's like, ah. So why don't you look a lobster bisque? I don't know. All right, we're gonna go against your favorite wall. Now we're gonna do some wall angels. You could do these on the ground too if you don't have wall access. So basically just bring your arms up and over. You want your back pressed into the wall and your elbows can come away from the wall. Basically just working on range of motion, getting them warmed up. If you can't get them all the way up, that's cool. Just work on what's available. Ooh. Ooh. Get 25 more seconds. And I can't read what's next. So sad because I didn't print it out. I don't know why I'm being so lazy on Saturday mornings. Because it's like it's Saturday. I want to sleep in. Oh. We've got 10 more seconds. Keep going. I'm going to check out the next move. So I can remind myself. Ah, yes. All right. Three, two, one. We're going to go into the world's greatest stretch. So you're going to go into a lunge, press the hips forward, bring one hand up, rotate, chest open, come back down, rotate the other way. Ooh. Come down, split the leg, lean back, flex the foot, stretch the hamstring, swap it out. A little lunge, swing the arm open. And if you don't do all these in the exact same order, you're not going to die. Open it up. Come back down. Lean back. Open the hamstring. Open the hamstring. Like a book. Switch it out. Let's go a little bit faster. Lean forward. Twist. Twist. Slip the leg back. Swap it out one last time. Lunge. Twist. Twist, lean back, 
All right, next move. We're gonna do bend and reach. Just squatting down. I'm getting down chair height. You can go up on your toes too. Work those calves. Got another 30 seconds. Oh. Keep going, keep going. Oh. 15 more seconds. Look at this coming at you. Three, two, one, lunge side to side. Ooh, stretching those adductors, adductors. Your inner thigh. Oh. Uh, you know, I love my one morning coffee, heart attack coffee, but um, I hate the taste in my mouth when it's done. It's like, ah, oh, brush my, normally I would be brushing my teeth right now. I can't. I mean, I could, but it'd be a really weird workout. So I gotta need some water. Yeah. I'm gonna grab some water. Keep going. Keep going. All right. About four more seconds. Arms out, bend over, reach the toes. Try to go outside the foot if you can while keeping your back straight and flat, hinging. Notice as I hinge, my butt goes back. Sometimes it's bending over while staying upright. I'm shifting my weight back. When you do hit hinges, especially for deadlifts, which I think we might be doing today, I'll check. You want to hip hinge, send your butt back. Keep going. Keep your shoulders down below your shoulders scrunch up near your ears. Ten more seconds. Two, one. All right, stand up, knee up and around. Hit your balance portion today. Whew. So what's going on with you today, Dominique? Other way, outside in. Switch legs in a second. Actually, in six seconds. Any big plans? Dominique is an amazing chef. Switch sides. She will take food scraps and turn them into delicious meals. She's very resourceful. You live near her in the Raleigh Durham area. Switch sides or switch directions. Try to get her to make you a meal. It'll be you won't regret it. Oh, I miss our ladies that lift brunches. So delightful. All right, five more seconds. We're going to do some insurance to finish up. Two, one, here we go. Walk into that good plank. Come back. If you want, you can walk your legs towards your hands. Stretch it out a little bit more. See how close you can get your feet to your hands. Make random grunting sounds. It's anyway, you can do what you want here. Oof. Got 15 more seconds of this warm up. Then we're going to get this party started. All right, so we're going to be lifting sort of heavy today. So you want to have your dumbbells? Two, one, take a break. Awesome job. 
Nice and warm, I hope. How you doing, Dominique? All right. So today, it's gonna be really straightforward. A lot of these, oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm hopeless. Look at that, that's ridiculous. All right. Most of these uh, are gonna be just like four by tens. We're gonna have a few that are different, like four by eights, four by thirties, depending on the work, but um, yeah. Grab your heavier weights if you got them. Weights if you got them. Okay. So, for this first one, if you have a bench that you can do this on, that's cool. I do not. So I'm gonna try this with the ball, which is gonna give you some added stability. You can also just do this on the ground. We're gonna do weighted glute bridges per Dominique's request. So not only I would do this with a heavier weight, but since I'm using an unstable surface, I'm going to go with the lighter weight. Yay! No problem. You ready, Dominique? High five, let's get this going. All right, so we're just gonna do four sets of 10. If you wanna do more, if you're feeling good, by all means. Like I said, this is going to be a little bit of an experiment with me on the ball. So on the ball, um, so when you're doing this on a bench or on a ball or any sort of surface, you're basically going to be coming down from the ground and coming up into like a reverse tabletop, okay? Squeezing the glutes at the top. So I'm going to do this with the weight. Oof. All right. So I'm going to go for 10. Here we go. Three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So remember to squeeze the boots at the top. My hands are basically just keeping the weight on me so it doesn't roll and hit me in my face. All right, if you have a barbell, it'll be a little easier. Don't have to worry about it so much because it'll probably weigh a lot more. You gonna do some gaming today? All right, get you all nice and in shape for that. I'm gonna swap this out. I'm gonna try my heavier weights, see if I survive. All right, Donnie, you got one round down. We got four, three more. I swear we're only doing four rounds. Oy. All right, grab your weight. Here we go, next set of 10. One, two, three. Notice how my whole body is hinging. Four, my head's coming up. Five, at least I hope so. <laughs> Six, seven, Eight, two more, nine, and ten. All right, round two done. How's it going, Dummy? Check in. 25 pound plate, like it, I like it. So you can do this with the plate, you can do it with, I like doing it with a nice barbell, if I can, well, in the four time when I actually have access to one. I think it's one of the few things missing from my gym right now. Oh, Johnny, I got some new bands. Wait till I show you. I'm so excited. Because life isn't great until you have three sets of exercise bands. Oh, what'd you say? Yay! All right. Let's do round three. Woo! <laughs> and for me, getting set up is half the battle. All right. So you can start with the hips down. Round three. Here we go. One. Two, three, four, five, six, squeeze those glutes at the top, seven, eight, nine, and ten. I'm always paranoid about counting on camera. Probably because half the time I mess it up. If I can mess it up, just don't listen to me, just keep going. <laughs> All 
All right, we're not gonna pause as much in between for this last set. Here we go. Three, two, one. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Nice flat. Sting at the top. Six. Seven. So don't work to the back. Eight. Nine. One more. Ten. Nice. Oh. <laughs> Good thing I didn't like children. All right. Put the meal on the record. Put the bottle on the rack. So I don't think you're listening around. Using my old. Oh, you're using the ball. Okay, cool. Cool. Yeah, adding a little bit of instability, getting your core engagement. All right. All right. So our next move. If you want, you can sit on the ball. You know, let's move the, let's have the ball on here for some more stuff. So this is going to be a curl overhead press. So you can either do the standing if you want. You can do the seated in the chair if you want. So we'll try it seated on the ball and see if we fall. All right. <laughs> so again, we're going to do 10 reps. I'm going to start with 15 just to see how this goes. Okay. So uh, since we're seated, we're going to do a hammer curl and then do an overhead press. Okay. Since uh, now you're standing, yeah, do the same thing. Hammer curl, overhead press. Okay, so your palms are gonna face each other. Um, normally you would do a curl like this, but we're gonna have hammer curl hands, palms facing each other. So up and over, all right? 10 reps, here we go. Three, two, one. One. Down. Two. Again, if you don't have a ball, that's perfectly understandable. I'm just throwing it in today because why not? I actually didn't warn anybody about this, but that's why you don't need it. It's going to be five, I believe. Remember, keep your posture right, shoulders down. I think it's, what, six? I don't know. I'm going to do four more. Four. Three. Two, one more, and one. Nice. High five, mid set, high five. All right, we're going to do three more rounds of that. I'm going to grab some water, pump up the volume. I'm doing this mix, it's from like late March, I believe. I've been so lazy lately. Threes, mixes, not typing out cue cards. You could say that I'm saving, saving the planet by not printing on paper. All right. Round two. Here we go. Three, two, one. Curl up and down. Two. Looks like one hand's higher than the other. Three. <laughs> Four. Five, six, seven, three more, eight, nine, one more, and ten. Nice. Round two, done, half of. How's it going? We're going to do two more rounds. Now when you sit on your ball, you want to make sure you still have good posture, so sitting up straight, not slouching. Ooh. Make sure you're not slouching. Tuck your, tilt your pelvis back just a little bit. Make sure you're well supported and aligned. All right, here we go, round three. One. Keeping those elbows, it's so hard to keep them directly in the sides, but not letting them flare out or flare forward. I think this is 
five, and we're gonna do a 10. Six. Seven. Eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And 10. Nice. Okay, go a little heavier for my last round. Is it feeling good? If you want to go heavier, go for it. If you just want to finish, I don't care. Do it. You do, you go. That's my new, that's my phrase for the week. All right. So remember, as you're doing these curls, you're not swinging your arms like this, keeping those elbows locked into the side on the movement, and then pressing up. I'm gonna do these from the side for the last round. All right, went up and wait. Let's see if I can handle this. Three, two, one, here we go. One. Two. Maybe this was a bad idea. <laughs> Three, four. Remember, even as you're coming down, you're coming down with control. Don't just flop those weights down. A lot of people injure themselves on the eccentric movement, which is returning the weight to the bottom. All right, this is seven, I believe. How's my form? <laughs> Somebody tell me. Nine. I believe this is nine. Last one. Oh, ten. Nice. Awesome. Awesome. Awesome job. High five. All right. What do we got here? Okay. Dominique, how are you with lunge pulses? I know you said you couldn't do certain lunges. Are you okay with pulses? Because that's what I have next. Let me know. So, we're going to do more than 10 on this. Kick away that ball, it just pleases me. All right. So, yeah, we're going to do lunge pulses. I want you to get as heavy as you can. We're going to do 30, four sets of 30. Okay? And we'll swap sides in between the two. Um, oh, wait. Let me scroll down. Oh, wow, you said a whole lot more. <laughs> Nice. Okay. All right. So, whatever you're doing, I'm gonna. Oh, I'm gonna pick this up a notch. Okay. So I want you to get into a nice position, ninety and ninety. Okay. And we're just gonna pulse thirty. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh my god! <laughs> Oh my God, getting out of that is like the hardest thing. All right, one set done. Oh my goodness, I'm starting to sweat. Sound and can't do this one, ball. All right, we have three more sets. Swap legs, on the leg forward. So we're sure we're wearing shoes right now, but all right, so. When you get those weights, do that safely. Don't bend at your neck. Don't bend your neck. All right. Get into that nice 90 degree angle. So here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 20, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Oh my gosh. Whew. Whew. Good 
Good job. <laughs> yeah. So one of the things that I noticed, and you might have seen this, seen me do this, as you get tired and fatigued, your weight shifts forward. I noticed it. So the thing is, when you're doing this, you want to keep your weight back. So you're really keeping those good 90 degree angles. And it's tough, man. That was really awful. All right, Donna, I kind of feel like I got two more rounds of that. I'm just glad we're not doing four rounds on each leg. Because that would be horrible. All right. Round three. Pick them up. Here we go. Three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hips square, facing forward. Nine, ten. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty, ten. Nine, eight, don't lean forward, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ooh. Oh. Ride it, my pony. Okay. Now I wish you listen. This is a good mix. You should check it out later. I think you'd like it. Oh, all right. We got one more round. Good job, Dominique. Glad it's feeling okay on these. All right. Last one. Hope you remember which foot goes in front. Because I can't tell you what you did. I can barely remember what I did. All right. Here we go. Three, two, one. Here we go. One, two, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty, ten more, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ooh. Put those weights down on the leg. And I'm coming in for a high five. Oh. <laughs> I put the weights out of my legs like, oh. high five. I've got like this uh, Rihanna, my pony mix. Oh, that's good. I don't know what it is. It's good. All right. Answering. Dominic was asking what's in the mix. Go check it out. Okay. What do I have next? Bend over flies. I will not be using the 40s on this one, unless they're 40 ounces. And uh, I gotta say, never really got into malt liquor. Um, I feel like I've talked about this before. If you ever watch really old commercials from the 60s for Colt 45, like I always remember Billy Dee Williams, Colt 45. Colt 45 back in like the 60s was like, White men in tuxedos sitting on a beach. Very interesting. All right. I digress. Let's do some better flies. Uh, I'm going to start with these. Okay? So, as we're doing this, bend the knees slightly. You're not gonna, I'm not going to do a full bend. Usually it's about 45 degree angle. Palms facing each other. Slight bend in the elbows. Come up, squeeze the shoulder blades together. Four sets of ten. Here we go. Three, two, one. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Awesome. One round down. Three to go. I'm going to up my weights. How are you doing so far on this one? Oh, you hate flies? I like 
flies. I don't think they're that bad. But I'm not working on them. Because if you hate them, that means you need to do more of them. That would be thrusters for me. I hate thrusters. I hate thrusters so much. Bulgarian split squats, hate those. I know I hate split squats because hamstring intensive and I hate my hamstrings. Pistol squats, hate those. Um, yeah. Now that you know my weaknesses, we'll be working on all of those next time. All right, let's do our second round of flies. Feet shoulder apart, slight bend in the knee. Bend forward about 45 degrees, back straight, core tucked in to protect your back. Arms in a hug. Here we go, three, two, one. One, two, three, four. Shoulders on back, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One more, 10. Got some Shakira playing right now. Let's see, who else is on this mix? Uh, I had Iggy Azalea, DJ Kareem, Sierra, Rihanna. We've got some pebbles coming up. The headless trainer is going to talk about pebbles. <laughs> uh, well, well, then we just work on that range of motion. We'll get through this together. You're doing great. That was two, right? We got two more. Sorry, I'm getting all distracted. Squirrel! Actually, I don't see a lot of squirrels out here. Here in our garden, we have a lot of lizards. So cute. And uh, sometimes the lizards will stop and they'll do little push-ups. Did you know that the word for push-up in Spanish, lagartijas, means little lizards? It's so cute. All right. No push-ups today, I don't think. Actually, maybe there are. I don't know. All right, round three. We got this. Core engaged. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One more. Ten. Whew. I'm gonna go up for my last set. We'll see how this goes. Whew. So I bought new bands. They're airing out. I can smell them from here. So excited about my new bands. It's going to be awesome. All right. One more round. I don't think you got this. I know you got this. You can do this. Hang in there, pretty lady. I'm going to get through this. My lousy hair and everything. All right, assume the position. Shoulders down back, palms facing each other. I will slightly bend. Three, two, one, here we go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, the struggle is real. Three, two, last one. One. Awesome. Woot woot. Woot woot. Awesome job, Dominique. How are you feeling? All right, all right, all right. We're going back to legs. We're going to do some calf raises. We're going to do four by 30 on this. So uh, I'm going to go with my 40s. So. Working on my calves. Take a break, grab some water, pick your weight. So, in other news, I've been working on my pull ups and following this pull up program. And I've already had to like reset a couple of times because the way the reps increase, it's like my body can't keep up. I can barely finish the sets. And the last time I did this, I was doing okay. I was making like great gains in like three weeks. And I was like, why am I not getting the gains? And then I realized, I'm not doing an aerial. When you're doing an aerial, you're doing like 80 pull-ups an hour. So, uh, yeah. 
Um, yeah, I need to get back to Ariel. I miss it so much. All right, in other news, Dominique, glad you went up on the last set. Going to go for those calf raises. All right, so I'm going to keep my toes pointing forward on this. We're just going to do straight up uh, calf raises. All right, 30. Here we go. Three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Shoulders on the back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, excuse me, twenty, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Whew. Awesome job. Round one done. Oh, yeah. Oh. All right. Round one done. I'm going to grab a little bit of water, get right back into it. The bad thing about counting is I can't talk. Uh, can't chit chat. See, what we were chatting about last week? Oh, yeah, Michelle Obama arms. Am I getting there? I don't know. I, can't, I still can't. I mean, I. Bench press the iron. All right. Ugh. Look like I don't press an overhead. Overhead press? I suck at overhead press, man. Ugh. All right. Here we go. 30 more. 3, 2, 1. 1. Now, when you're walk, doing these, you want to watch your ankles. You want to make sure that your feet go straight up as opposed to like twisting out to the side. So, really pay attention. This is 10, one on 20, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 20, 10 more. Ooh, it's getting tough. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Ah, oh my gosh. Stretch out those calves. Stretch out those calves. Ooh, we got two more rounds of that. Who's the idiot who put this on the list? Right here, right here. Oh my gosh. Do you know what I have next? I have a lap pull down next. I totally forgot about that. All right, um, so morning. We're going to be using an exercise band for lat pulldowns. Um, so let me know. Do you, you have a band, right? You can set that up for a lat pulldown. Let me know. Otherwise, I'll just try and do pull ups. <laughs> 20 pull ups. All right. We're going to do round three. So, again, as you're going out, make sure you go straight up. And if you have some sort of wobble, really slow it down. I'd rather you do less reps with good form, then put weird strain on your ankles. Yeah, the calves are burning. All right, round three. Oy. All right, here we go. We got this. Three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten. Check in with your back and your posture. Are you sticking your butt out? Tuck your hips under. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Straight from the side, left for the last ten. Back straight. Neutral pelvis. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And ten. Oh, oh my gosh! I can feel my right calf. Like I don't go. No, nah, forget it. And then my left calf was compensating. And left calf was like, yeah. And then I was like, I felt sort of lopsided. 
So, uh, yeah, struggle is real. We got this though. We got one more round. Shake it out, stretch those calves. A little mid-set calf break. Water break. Whew. All right, got the last set of 30. We're almost there in the home stretch. Okay, I'm lying. We've got many more exercises after this, but here we go. Last 30. Three, two, one. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. Oh, here comes the burn. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. I'm gonna do a bus. Ah, put the weights away. Awesome, awesome job. Stretch that out, Dominique. All right. Now you have a pull, do you have pull down? Uh, the pull down things, use your words, Megan. Uh, bands, bands, you got bands? You wanna set up some bands with me? Cause I got, I totally forgot. If not, we can do, we can skip. And, uh, oh, let's snap. I do have push ups in here. All right, Dominique, do you want to do pulls or pushes? What do you want to do next? If you got your band, give me a sign of life. I'll wait. Oh, I'll stretch my calves while I wait. Oh, what do you got here? 70. Let's go with 70. Oh, what do we got here? Oh, I got this all. Snap. Oh my god, I have to organize my bands. Ah, ah, ah. So, if you're on my mailing list, join my mailing list. Um, I actually wrote, I think I wrote that you needed bands and mini bands for this workout, but I don't remember. And I apologize for not giving you a better heads up. Okay, so I am going to rotate the camera to my bathroom. You gotta do some lap pull downs. So grab your band. Oh, wait. Pull that shit shut. You gonna do some pull downs. So I'm just, both of these are in this, so I'm just gonna have them both here. Once again, not using my words. Okay. So we're going to do that pull down. So you're going to get in a kneeling position. If you need to put something under your knees to support, perfectly understandable. As I'm going into this, I want my back and my arms in line, okay? So it's a nice, nice plane. Everything's in one plane. And that's going to more simulate, it's going to simulate doing a pull up more than if your arms were like out front, okay? So keep your body and your arms in line. And uh, Don, let me know when you're ready. We're going to get this party started. Q, 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 Q. Oh, wow. Sorry, 913. Oh, yeah. I think we're probably, I think we're probably going to have to skip the remaining deadlift today. Don, let me know when you're ready. All right, cool. Let's go through this. Three, two, one. We're doing ten. Here we go. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Take a break. I should up it a little bit. The great thing about bands, 
Need out the resistance, just scooch your butt on back. All right, we got three more sets. We're gonna take shorter breaks. All right, I'm gonna go back a little bit. Three, two, one. Here we go. Ten, nine, eight. Palms facing down. Seven, six. Should be feeling this in your lats. Five, four, three, two, and one. Whew. My bands are supposedly 70 pounds, but as I learned in one of my Physics Fridays, doesn't mean shit. Uh, what? I know. Basically, it's like unless you're extending it to its full extensive leg, you're not getting that weight on it. It's always so sad. Wow, look at my arms are looking good today. Either that or they look like weird, bulbous things. This looks, <laughs> this looks really weird. <laughs> All right. I'm losing my mind. I think I'm having the reverse of coffee kicking in. I think I'm getting dumber. All right. Does coffee make you smarter? We should feel smarter. All right. Three, two, one. Here we go. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two and one. Nice. Three rounds, right? Got one more. Is it sad that I've already lost count? Yeah. All right, well, we're going to do one more. And if we do need to do more than one more, Tommy, can you fill me in? Because I don't know. I don't lift all things. <laughs> all right. We're going to shake it out. We're going to do one last round. Unless I miscounted. I thought that was three, but I have no clue. Here we go. Three, two, one. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, one more, ten. Nice. Hey, that one was was it three or four? I think that was four. Yeah, the leg sucks ass. Screw you, Zuckerberg. All right, so we're done, right? I'll wait a minute for you to know if we're done. All right, so while I'm waiting to find out, we should be done. All right. I'm going to rotate my camera this way. Okay, so it is mini band time. I'm going to try to get my... Where did I put them? Uh, okay, so I bought these on Amazon. Hurdlin. I have no idea what this means. Um, but every time I see that, I'm like, hurdy gurdy, which means nothing to anybody except me. But hurdy gurdy. All right, we're gonna do side to side banded blocks. Again, we're doing four by 30 on this. Because we need to work those side glutes. Okay, we're done with that, cool. By the way, high five, awesome. All right, whoa, did I? I'm just looking at the reps I put on here. Yeah, don't worry about the lag, Dominique. We'll figure it out. I know if there's a lag. I can usually figure out what you're saying. All right. We're going to do band and walks. Let's see how... I've got a pretty heavy band on. So we're going to do 30, so one step is one. Okay? Three, two, one. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty. 
Alright, I'm gonna rant for a little bit. Now I know why I don't like these bands. Okay, so they're heavier resistance, which is thumbs up, but you have to stretch them so far just to get any resistance. I'm not getting resistance through like half the range of motion. And then I'm like, why? Yeah, it's like it needs to be smaller or something. Or I don't know, but yeah. Or I think maybe it's the nature, I don't know, but now I know why I don't use these bands very often because they're annoying in their own unique way. So one, there's some novel that starts like, every good family is, all good families are the same, all bad families are bad in their own unique ways, or happy families, something like that. All right, next round. Three, two, one, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, now keep it square. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty. All right. Clean up form for this last one. So making sure that your toes point forward. The tendency is for the toes to start pointing out. You also want to think, you know, purposely have your toe point inward as you're moving. This is helping keep your hips forward. Also, don't let your butt stick out. If you feel your butt starting to stick out, tuck it under. How are you doing, Dominique? Yeah, I sort of, yeah. So I bought the, I bought the fabric ones because you know, my plastic ones all got, or my rubber ones all got a little broke. But I gotta say, the, the rubber ones are, they, I think they actually work better than these. Um, but we're gonna, we're gonna struggle through this, okay? We got this. We're gonna struggle through, oh, talk about first world problems. Oh my god, my bands. <laughs> all right. <coughs> Here we go, round three. Got those toes pointing inward. Don't let your hips square out. Three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten more. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. One. I also don't like how they fold that, like, ah, oh, just, mm. This is your unsolicited product review. I'm giving these, I'm giving these one and a half thumbs down. So like, the thumbs are like at a 90 degree angle. One's like ready to turn, but, I don't know. Tommy, how would you bring your mini bands, your fabric bands? Model, model, model. Yes. You should be feeling this in your glutes, by the way. You should be feeling this in your side joint, your glute knee, your glute men. And remember, you need to work these muscles. You need to do abduction because strengthening these side glute muscles are going to help for good knee support and knee strength. So if you get runner's knee, jumper's knee, anything like that, this will help these muscles work down on your chain and support those knees. One more round. Here we go. Three, two, one, one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Done with this band. Hurry, hurry. Put it back in the bag. Never looking at them again. Awesome job. Awesome job. All right. Put those away because they just please me. We got left. How much time we got left? I think we're going to be wrapping up here. Yeah, we got five minutes left. So we're going to pick one last move. Um, Sorry, Dominique, no Armenian deadlifts today. That would have been next, but I want to finish with upper body. 
We're going to do wide arm push-ups. If you can do one legged, I'm doing one legged. I, I don't know. All right. As Dominique would say, chest the deck, bitch. All right. What were we saying? What was the phrase last week or last time? We were like, oh yeah, the t-shirt. Hypertrophy, bitches, yeah. All right. So if you are not into a full push-up, you're just not that into them. Yeah, you're not that into them. If you're, into, if you're doing push-ups on your knees, just, just do push-ups, we're gonna push-ups. We're gonna go a little bit wider than shoulder width, we're gonna do elbows out. And if you're on your knees, you're on your knees. If you are on your feet, I just want you to kick one foot up if you can do it. If not, we'll just do push-ups. We're closing on with push-ups, four sets of 10. Oh, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. As we take this break, we take time to discuss proper form. Regardless of whether you're on your feet or on your knees, your whole body is stiff as a board. You are tucking in your core. You are bracing from your hips down to whatever's touching the floor, your knees or your, or your toes. Okay, so if you're in a full plank like this, driving back into those feet, keeping the core engaged, not letting everything sink to the ground. Head in neutral spine, so you're not looking at your feet, not looking up, just looking straight at that floor. So you bring your chest down. We're gonna go into round two. You can't remember which foot I had up, so I'm gonna do this one. Three, two, one, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, ten. Awesome job. We are halfway through. Check in on Dominique. Oh, good. You're running four to five days a week. Bless your heart. <laughs> That's all I have to say about that. Um, yeah, I am not a runner. I used to be a runner back in the day. I hated pretty much every minute. <laughs> not a runner. Oh my gosh. But Dominique's going to run all the miles for me. Thank you, Dominique. I appreciate it. We got two more sets. And uh, got to finish this out. All right, here we go. Pick your favorite foot. Stick it up. Three, two, one. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One more. Ten. Whew. Awesome job. <sighs> Shake it out, shake it out. We're gonna close out this workout. One set of 10, that's all that's holding you back from victory. So excited. And then we're all going to Dominique's house for brunch. Right, Dominique? Yeah. What? Everybody, I'm gonna type Dominique's address in here. Oh. Yeah. Just trying to come back your desk job. Yeah, that's still good. That's still a lot of miles. Four days a week, five days a week. That's awesome, Donnie. So much more than I'm doing. Uh, running all these anyway. All right, everybody. Last set. Here we go. My playlist is already. It's already. My playlist has already moved on to the stretch. We're a little behind. Let's crank these out. Three, two, one. Here we go. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, two, one more, one more, one. You did it. We did it. Dominique, awesome. Dominique's going to be serving up some food. Pecan sticky buns. Oh my God, that sounds amazing. How many is Nulls? Oh, I wish I could be there. I'd say I'd be on the next flight, but I'm not in any way or any way for like the next decade. All right. 
Good job. High fives all around. High fives, high fives. Dominique, thank you so much for joining me today. Let's do a little bit of a cool down. Do some shoulder rolls. It's fun. Nothing really complicated. Did a couple of ball moves. That was nice. That sounds so bad. Yes, the 12 year old boy is getting a good chuckle out of that. All right, clasp your hands together. Press forward, bringing your shoulders back, really rounding a bit, stretching right here. Oh. Thank you so much for joining me today. This made you sweat, made you smile. Feel like showing some love monetarily. PayPal Venmo, I appreciate it. If you don't have money, that's totally cool. Share, like, follow me for my recipe. Go follow down deep for recipes. She's got the recipes. All right, clasp your hands behind. Um, and uh, yeah, tell your friends. Get a watch party going or something like that. I don't know. I don't know what the kids are doing these days. Um, you can find me on my YouTube channel. All these videos get posted there. I also post all these videos on my website, jreactionfitness.com. It's so awesome. I blog there. I have a video. I want to do more blogging. I don't know. Let's um, shake it out. Uh, yeah, I would like to do a little more blogging. Right now I do mostly just the physics of fitness Fridays. I post technical Tuesdays where I post technique tips and form. Modality Mondays, I explore different modality explorations. Different, I explore different <laughs> modality explorations. Yeah, there goes my elevator pitch. All right, let's do a high lunge. Starts that calf. Oh, goodness. Um... You're doing a lot, so you should go check it out. JuniorActionFitness.com. You can go to my Instagram, my Face Webs, my YouTube. I'm there. I, I'm not doing Twitter. I just can't hang back. I gotta, gotta, you know, put the kibosh on something. I'm not ready to form. I'm not doing. I know everybody's doing TikTok now. Oh my god, if I make videos every day. Oh wait, I was doing that for the last three months. All right, step it back. High lunge, stretch that calves, we work those calves hard today. So anyway, uh, yeah, come and work out with me. So many different ways to do that, lean back. And thank you, Dominique, for showing up today, and thank you if you're watching this video, you are that much stronger for work, showing up, working out, and it's always much more fun to work out with friends. You're gonna do a little, just bend over, Ooh, stretch the hamstrings. Roll up slowly, and my music is already on the playlist. Let's stretch the quads real quick. Knees together. Lean on someone for support. I mean, don't lean on me for support today. Dominic is a wall represented, but it's, I don't know. There's a, it's a metaphor. It's a metaphor. Oh, I'm stretch the other quad. I'm gonna check in on Dominic. Dominic, how you feeling? Uh, did you do anything else? Nope. All right, so thank you everyone. The headless trainer would like to thank you for coming out today, I appreciate it. Um, you probably do a little more stretching if you need to stretch anything else out. By all means, keep going. Don't let me stop you. Um, but uh, yeah, so I will be back next week. I haven't quite figured out my schedule yet, but you can go if you want to be the first to know. Uh, go to my homepage, on uh, my Jane Reaction Fitness page, sign up for the weekly newsletter. Just on Sundays, I write one email and I tell you what I'm doing for the week. And I try to tell you like what equipment you need, what the workout's going to be, and I give you times. I post it, I post my schedule on Sundays too, but I can give you a little more detail uh, about the list of stuff I'm doing. So um, sign up for the newsletter. Have your friends sign up. I don't know, social, social media, all the things. Oh, I'm so glad you liked it, Dominique. All right, well, I'm going to close out here because I'm way over time, so have a wonderful day. Dominique, have a wonderful Saturday. Have fun gaming. Game shoot, game shooter all things, if that's the game you're playing. Um, everybody, thank you so much for working out. Love you. Bye.